Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm KN161 and this is Pokemon Emerald. Um, Alright, then I finished up everything I wanted to do on Dooford, and now we're gonna go to Sailor Crystal Sea again. Again, I'm gonna cut it out because you saw what was what happened with Mr. Bliny. If anything, uh, if anything occurs, I'll show it to you. See you in, uh, So, I'll uh, see you again, even though I just said hello. Alright, then we're back here, and, and we saw this shit the first time we went through, but we couldn't go to it, so let's go to it. Huh. It didn't look that big from the outside. Looks like a toy ship, kind of. Not much bigger than me. Hmm, how's that work out? Yeah, whatever. Uh, talk to this. Talk to going. Yeah. Hmm. Weird? Yeah, whatever. This is the random ship. There's lots of treasures you can find here, lots of secrets you can get here. Uh, you can only go in certain doors. And some of them have holes in them, so you can do it like that too. Uh. Hmm. Other cabins. Yes, there's lots of cabins, you, and there's lots of secrets. Can't get all of them right now. You need some uh, T yeah, some HMs you don't have yet. Oh, I don't want mail. Oh, this guy's a trainer, remember? I want to fire these. Uh, storage. Okay, so I need a storage key for that one. Which I know it's around here somewhere. Dive ball. That's a Pokemon that works on Pokemon on the ocean floor, which we'll get to quite a bit later, actually. That's like the. That's not for quite a while. Good trainer? Nope. Yes. No, there's actually a few good trainers on board. Uh, a couple of them I actually want. Escape rope? That's not a bad thing. <clears throat> Alright, now this one. Now this is what. This is how you progress further than the ship. You see that, see that dark water there past where well, it's kind of light? Uh, that's deep water. That's where you can dive down, but you can't do that without the TM the HM dive and a Pokemon that can dive. None of which I have right now, so yeah. What do you say? Please just being aboard the ship. Not even moving. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. It's really hard to get. That's impressive. You get C sec on a boat that isn't even moving. Just the thought. Dang it. Uh, I've no. I know people like that who get seasick at that. This was not. This one was not that big from the outside. Not the fighting trainers now. Crap. Passion. Those are trainers' treasures. I'm at, I am good at battles. Eh, we'll see about that. Off screen. All right. Then now that the irritants out of the way, what do we have here? When we vibe. Worth it, I'd say. <clears throat> Still irritating. I know. I know. Young couple. I'll beat them up. Off screen. And then go out here. Up here. Hey, who are you? I invest in the ship and have the Captain Stern. Oh, Stern, we know him. He's a nice dude. Find a scan of I haven't find had any success. Yeah, you suck. Storage key. Wasn't there a room with a, with a name storage in it around here? Dun dun dun. Yeah, it's not a big secret. Eh, whatever. But there's something we is, we do want in that storage room. Or uh, something I want. And as my viewing, as my guess, you want it too. TM13 Ice Beam. Very good tech, very good TM. And I'm gonna teach that to a Pokemon. And guess who it's going to, I'm going to teach it to? There's only three available, and I'm not teaching it to Hein because I've already up. Because I've already upset his stats with his uh, moveset with special moves, by the way. So it's going to be Muddy. Yes, I'm going to teach Ice Beam to Muddy. This helps him against his biggest weakness, which is gr which his only weakness, which is grass. And now I've got a move that's super effective against it, which is very helpful. Give it a growl. And now Muddy's a lot stronger. He doesn't get the same type of attack bonus, but whatever. It's still a good, still a good move. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for this uh, ship. So I'll s and so now I gotta sail the ocean blue more, and I'll see you at the next spot. I think I saw something over to the right a little bit. So see you in a sec. Yeah, well, I found this trade matter, and I thought about it, and I, I'm not call it mandatory because you have to get you have to fight them in order to get an item. So yes, I'm finally wow, I did a lot of damage. I'm finally showing a train about it for the first time in like forever. Why did you stand against him? How does that hurt him? He's pot rock. Uh, that's right, and of course it's a cool trainer, so she gets fucking items. Uh, 
And I can't. And I don't want to risk it. Don't get mad. Oh, and on the ship, a uh, Tarzan learned faint attack. Finally. Finally has a really good a good attack. Stop sparking. Uh, guts man. It's better to kill that, otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, I'll send a T-Rex first. T-Rex is already is a high level, but I don't really care because I really need to level up. Because you know it sucks, and I don't have enough weird candies to make it evolve yet. It evolves at level 40, so I'm gonna make it get to level 36 and then, and then evolve it with weird candies. Uh, right, which is probably isn't a good idea. Normally for raising Pokemon, but I don't care because it just is not a good Pokemon. Oh my, oh is pretty dang good. Anoth, it's not Anoth. Uh-uh. Double team, woohoo! Pink got it. Unfortunately, I've got a tag that never misses. So screw you. Oh, I didn't go a level. Ugh. You have too many metrics? Muddy, go get out there and show them how it's done. Spark doesn't doesn't affect Muddy, he's ground type. Let's see how all this mud shot affects you. Oh yes, you how? Oh, oh! Here's mud in your eye. It's, it's super effective. Thirty-three. Three more freaking levels, which I hopefully I'm going to get off screen with some off screen training. It wasn't cute at all. I'm not in this for being cute. I'm in this for being strong. And here, really quick. And he got a heal paralysis. So stupid, my Nectrix kept on paralyzing my Pokemon. Uh, so if... Go up here and fight this guy. He's mandatory, so I show him. I love water type po Pokemon. I love other Pokemon too. Eh, whatever, I love winning. Wingle. Go take T Rex. Wow. Now that it shows how strong physically T Rex uh, this Pokemon really is, even if it sucks overall. Well, it doesn't suck overall, it sucks right now. Overall, it's actually not a bad Pokemon, but. It'll definitely be better, which it's going to be once it evolves. Chop's getting popped. Tentacool! Whatever, I'll just scratch it to death. That's all Animus can really do. It doesn't know Metal Plover doesn't have as much strength. Poison Sand, that's not gonna do anything because it's part rock type. I, I thought I'd jinx myself when I, and he was gonna get poisoned. I lost. Don't cry, you damn sailor. You're supposed to be strong. Okay. And for that, and for that we get a star piece, which is basically what that uh, guy charges for. But I mean, that's a hot skin. What, what does a star piece do? Is that just money? Yep, it's just money. There's a lot of items in this game for money. Well, I think that's pretty much all you can do in this boot. I think there's one other thing you can get, but I'll show that in a little bit. And besides that, it's just going down the same path that Mr. Blind took. So, see you when I get that one thing, or at the next area we're going to. See ya. Uh, not sure if this is what I was thinking of, but there's something here. PP up. Uh, bottom right corner right near Slateport Beach. 
Um, I think that's all. So I'll see you on where, where to go to next, which is in Marvel City, actually. Along the way, while fighting lost trainers, and with grew enough levels to combine with Myra Candies, too? What? Teox is evolving? Yes. No more sucking Anorith. I thought Hino I was annoying in the Slakoth phase. This thing's even more annoying in the Anorith phase, because why usually try and use the XP share, but thankfully it's even. I've, it's gotten strong enough, and now it has turned into an Armado. Very good Pokemon. <laughs> now, long way to learn Ancient Power, which is probably its best move it will ever learn. It only has 5 PP, but it's very strong. It can also raise its stats. As you can see, uh, now T Rex is very overloaded, with some of the cards I just used it forever to try and boost it up enough to make it evolve. But whatever. Anyway, now it's strong enough, and now we can move on with this thing in the dang world. Hey, Watson, what are you doing now? It's a good thing. Wah ha ha ha. Fine, I I need a favor, Kay Ed. That was fast. It's an underground section called New Marvel. Ooh. Go there and switch off the generator. Why? Because we're running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Okay. So you're sending a child to go to an unsafe generator. That makes a lot of sense. But it's more of a challenge to you. It's just short serve. Okay. Just a quick serve, which is another, which is the last side quest we can do with surf before we move on. So I just gotta go out here. Okay then. And this is New Marvel. And here we have New Marvel. This is a trip switch type base. You, you step on one of these switches. You have to put a rappel up, and this place is annoying. The Pokemon's a switch place. You step on a switch, and you can move out. And uh, speaking of new Pokemon you can find here, there are four of them. Um, there are me there was Magnemite. Wow, I can't believe I was forgetting that. Um, and it's evolved from uh, Magneton. Um, it's these are it's a very special Pokemon. And it has very good special attack. It's um, defense isn't too bad either, but besides that, it doesn't have that much. Its moveset isn't half bad, but honestly, if you do want an archetype, I'd say there's better ones in the game. But I don't. The archetypes aren't that. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of impartial to archetypes. I don't really like them, but I don't mind them. There's just a lot of Pokemon that can learn the, their moves and stuff. Eh, whatever. One sec. And the other Pokemon you can find here is. Uh, the Voltorb family. Um, Voltorb and its evolved form of Electrode are very fast. One of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Um, they can... And it's, uh, it's not the bad Pokemon, but it's not... It's just fast. It doesn't have much else to its name, except for exploding, of course. Like, um, like you know, no one who's heard this series before hasn't, doesn't know that, but... Uh, I don't really like it. Like I said, Electrotype's not my favorite. I even though it's just ne the the whole Pokemon is based around Electrotype, I've never been a huge fan of them. Uh, dang, pal. Uh, as you can imagine, several of the items in this uh, area are disguised uh, are actually Electrodes. Um, the, I will always show you the one. Or I will only show you the items. Anything I do not pick up is an Electrode. But it, it doesn't make sense. How can you? Hmm. Oh, shoot. And I gotta fight this one. Crap. Ugh, this is why you mess things up. Ah, uh, yeah, you didn't have to fight that one, you just didn't, you just shouldn't have pushed the switch. <sighs> no, and it's in the vault top, not electrode. Sorry about that. Go over here. There's the generator, and push the switch. Click. The generator pistol stopped. And over here, dang it, pal. You can get a Thunderstone, and that, that you can get a reward quickly uh, from Watson, actually. So I'll see you back at him. We talked to Watson after doing that. Wahaha, I knew it, kid. I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks. Team called Thunderbolt. You earned it. Thunderbolt is a very good electric type move. It has pretty good, has very good, has very high attack. Wahaha. Yep, no one to see young and step up and take charge. It's a very good attack, has lots of power, and it's pretty good accuracy, and I'm going to teach that to Hein.